Hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Katie. Uh, this is part three in my makeup decluttering series. So this video we will be doing eyebrow products, eyeliners, uh, mascaras, and some sort of like miscellaneous eye bits and bobs. First thing that I actually want to go through is mascaras because I don't know if you've noticed but I've not actually got any mascara on because I thought I'd use this as an opportunity to just sort of test if things are dried out, if they have any moisture left in them, if they're at all usable on the eye. So this is all of my mascaras in here. So obviously there's going to be some of these that I know are like fine and that I don't really need to check so I'll just keep them and there's some that regardless of whether they're dried up or not I just don't like them so <laughs> I might just get rid of them. Um, for example, I think I'm going to get rid of this Gosh one. Um, this is the Boombastic Overdose Mascara. I just find it a bit too clumpy. And it's got a really weird one with this pointy bit at the end, which I'm not a big fan of. Um, it's still moist, but it still has moisture in it, but I don't really like it that much. So it's not awful, but it's not the best. So I'm going to get rid of that one straight away. Uh, misguided Real Thick Lash Mega Volume. I bought this one last year, I think like around like mid-year summer time, so it is getting towards the end, but it actually does seem to have some moisture in it still. I did actually really like this one. Let me just test it out a bit here. Yeah, that's definitely still got some life in it, so... It's definitely like not as... It's obviously not performing as well as it did like around the time when I first had it, but it has still got some moisture in. I definitely could finish that one up. NYX Worth the Hype Mascara. I actually really like this one, um, but again, this is over a year old now and it ooh, it doesn't look great. First of all, the wand is like completely disheveled. Um, I mean, there's a little bit of moisture in it, but... I don't think this is worth keeping. I, I wouldn't be able to get like a nice lash look with this in the state that it's in. But I did really like this when it was in its prime. Um, and I probably would buy another one actually. Um, but yeah, I'm going to get rid of this one. It looks, it's pretty dead looking to me. Number seven, Exceptional Definition Nutrient Enriched Mascara. This is definitely quite old, probably over a year, maybe even two years old. Um, I mean, there's a bit of moisture in it. Mm, I don't know about this. I mean, it is kind of doing something, to be fair to it. It is doing a little bit of something, but it's not giving like amazing lashes or anything. So I'm a bit conflicted on whether to keep that or not. See, I don't even, see, I remember liking it. I don't remember loving it, but it was quite a while ago now that I tried this. Um, I think I'm gonna get rid of this. Um, uh, Nabla Major Pleasure Mascara. I'm pretty sure I tried this one last year. I think in like about March time, so oh my god, almost a year ago. It has a little bit of moisture in it. Um, let me just test it out. I feel like that's still doing a little bit of something, you know? Not a lot of something, but a little bit of something. So it's definitely not in prime condition, but I feel like it is still doing something like I feel like I wouldn't get much more use out of it but I feel like I still could get a little bit more use out of it so I will keep it and it is a good mascara as well. Maybelline Sky High Last Sensational Mascara I think I tried this one last year as well. It definitely still has moisture in it. Yeah I think I'll keep this one. It's in, it seems to still have quite a bit of moisture in it and it's not a bad mascara as well. The only thing I don't love about this mascara is that the wand is quite wobbly which I feel like some people might like that, but for me I find it a bit difficult, but I'm going to keep it because it's still got moisture in and it does do a decent job, so. L'Oreal Air Volume Mega Mascara, this is definitely quite old now, possibly two years old. Um, ooh, surprisingly though, still got some moisture in it, um, quite a bit of moisture actually. I feel like it's still doing stuff. I've not used this in a while, but I feel like my memory of it was that it was good, but like a little bit on the clumpy side because it is so thick, but it's still got quite a lot of moisture in it. So, you know, I feel like I might actually just keep this and finish it up because I kind of just want to finish up all my mascaras before I buy any more and that. Because I am on a no buy, but I've kind of had it in my head that um, if like I go through all of my mascaras and get everything out of them, then I obviously am allowed to buy like top ups of mascaras. 
This mascara is really good, but I've got a feeling that it's probably dried up. So this is from the brand LOV. It's their Love Rose Sculpting Volume Mascara. And I tried this not last year, but the year before, so 2020. Um, and I loved it, but I think that this is dried up. Yeah, I think that's dried up. It's really not. I mean, is it? I don't know. Is it doing anything? It's doing a little bit, but uh, not enough really to keep it, but... I 100% would buy this again. This was a really good mascara. I loved it. It was one of my favourites from 2020 and I really should have probably just used it up at the time. But I think I am going to get rid of that one. Uh, Soap and Glory Thick and Fast High Definition Collagen Coat Mascara. This is, uh, I don't know how old this is, but it's quite old, but it still has some moisture in it, you know. It's probably not one of my favourite mascaras ever, but it is like a decent mascara. Like, I feel like it's worth keeping and it's still got moisture in it, so... I will hold on to that one, actually, and use it up. Uh, I've got a Maybelline Last Sensational. I have a feeling that this one is probably dead. Oh yeah, it's looking hella crispy. <laughs> Pretty sure I brought this last year because I wanted a Maybelline mascara for, um... No. There's like a really tiny amount of moisture in it, but it's really not in very good condition. And it's like hella crusty and crispy, so I think I'm gonna get rid of this one. But love the Maybelline Last Sensational, 100% would buy it again. This is super duper old, um, the L'Oreal X Fiber False Lash Mascara. It is a double-ended one. I mean, looks like there's still moisture in it, you know. This is like definitely over two years old, but it's got moisture in it, like... Can this live another day? I really thought that this one was a definite no, but actually... It's still got product in it, and it's still working fine on both sides, so... I guess it gets to live another day. And I did really like this mascara around the first time I used it. And this is a really good mascara, I really like this, but L'Oreal tends to do really good mascaras anyway, so there's no shocker there. But that's still good, that's still absolutely fine to use, even though it's like about two years old. Which is quite surprising actually, I didn't think it would be, but there you go. I'm probably going to get rid of this one, this is a more recent one, it's the um, Re-Evolution Long Lash Lengthening Mascara. It's not bad, it's okay, but it's not... It's not great, it's not one that I feel like I'd reach for a lot, so I think I'll get rid of it. It was only like £3 as well. Um, it definitely grew on me the more I used it, but I still feel like it doesn't sort of compare to some of my other mascaras. Uh, I've got the Zoeva Graphic Lash Mascara. Um, this is the second time I purchased it, and on the second time I used it, I did still like it, but I did find it was quite smudgy. Which I didn't, I don't think I noted that the first time I used it, but it definitely did notice it the second time I brought it. I feel like there is still a little bit in this, so I think I will hold on to it actually. Uh, number 7 Velvet Lash uh, Mascara, looks like this. Um, I think I preferred this to the other number 7 one I had, but I mean, again, there's still moisture in it. How are these mascaras lasting? I don't understand. It has still got a bit of moisture in. But I do feel like it's not really performing that well. Um, so I might actually get rid of that one because like, even though it has got a little bit of moisture in, I don't feel like it's applying that well. So yeah, I'm gonna get rid of that one, I think. Uh, Morphe Mascara. Um, this I liked, but it was super duper clumpy. But again, it's got moisture in it still. It's just, it's just super clumpy, but like, with like some patience you can get it to kind of work so you know what i probably will actually keep it even though it is a little bit too clumpy for what i like but it does give really thick voluminous lashes and if you're just patient with it and just really work the product and try and brush it through you can sort of fix the clumpiness but it does require more work than other mascaras because it's still got moisture and i'm gonna hold on to it i think uh, the Rude Cosmetics one, this is another quite recent one, which is not bad, but again, kind of the same thoughts as that Revolution one. I don't love it, um, and also it's hella stiff. I think I'm going to get rid of that one, even though it's it's still in good condition, it's just, I don't love it. 
This was one of my favourites from last year. This is the Gosh Catchy Eyes Drama Mascara and I'm pretty sure it's still, yeah, it's definitely still got moisture in. Um, and I really enjoyed this mascara actually. I thought it was really good. So I'm going to keep this one. Uh, Revlon Ultimate All-in-One Mascara. I think this is one of my favourites from 2020. So yeah, it's kind of like two years old now. Um, oh, have you still got moisture in? How? How have you still got moisture in? I feel like that's still kind of working, you know. And I definitely thought that one would be dried up. But I've got to keep it because I did really like this one. And it's still got a little bit of something going. Uh, another Revlon one. This is the Sophia's Mascara. Um, this is another one of those mascaras that I remember being quite clumpy. Um, but, like, kind of good at the same time. And does it have moisture in? A little bit. As you can imagine, my lashes are getting clumpier and clumpier because I'm layering off about 20 mascaras. I feel like it's still got a little bit of something going on, so I've got to finish it off. Um, I'll probably get rid of this Technic Intoxicate Mascara. It's not awful, it's not great, it's sort of somewhere in the middle. Um, I think I'm going to get rid of that one though. Okay, so we've got this duo from Wet n Wild that this is probably like about four years old. Um, this is the it's the one and three lash fibre filler thing. It's the double-ended one that has like a fibre bit as well. Um, shall we see if there's any moisture? Mm. Uh, that's definitely looking a bit crusty and nasty. So I did really enjoy this, um, but it, it just doesn't look... It looks kind of grim, so I'm going to get rid of that. But I did have good times with that. It was quite good. I don't know if they still make it. Uh, last mascara. This one is from You Can Be. Um, I think I'm probably going to get rid of this one. Because, again, it was one of those things where, like, it was not bad. But it could make your lashes a bit spindly. A bit sort of clumpy towards the end. Yeah, I'm going to get rid of that one, I think. So, I feel like we got rid of, like, about half of them there. So, let me just put back the ones I'm keeping. Definitely downsized that quite a bit. We got rid of probably about half of them. So obviously some of these like haven't got a lot left in them, but I might as well, you know, finish them up. Some of them probably get, a, some of them have got more life in than others. Obviously I have also got like the most recent mascaras that I brought from like my last few first impressions videos at my desk here. So I am using those mostly at the moment. Um, just briefly talk about them. Obviously I'm not getting rid of any of them for a little while until I've like kind of fully properly tested them. But I definitely would keep the misguided um, Oh High Lash Length and Definition. That's obviously going to stay because I loved that. I'd probably keep the Note Cosmetics Lash Master because I am quite liking that one. I probably will declutter this one once I've tried it out a bit more. It's the Be Perfect Bad Llama Mascara because it really just is it's just not impressing me the times I've used it so far. Um, the e.l.f. Big Moon Mascara, I have sort of mixed thoughts on this because it's quite volumizing, but it's just super duper clumpy and quite difficult to get intricate lash with because of how chunky the wand is. So I'm sort of undecided about that one at the moment. I feel like I need a bit more time with it. And I feel the same way about the Sheen one because it is quite a good mascara, but it's like a waterproof formula. But then I kind of think I should keep it just so I do have one waterproof option in case like I need that. Um, but I tend to avoid waterproof formula because I find it so, so difficult uh, to remove and it's a pain in the ass and I hate it. And I feel like the actual situations where I'd need a waterproof mascara are like very rare. <laughs> like it's very rare, but I'm gonna need it. But I feel like I would keep it just on the chance that I do need a waterproof mascara. I don't know if it's advertised as waterproof because I feel like it wasn't because I don't think I would have brought it if it said like, oh, it's waterproof because I tend to avoid those. But it does actually do like a decent job on the lashes. It's quite a good mascara. Just a pain in the ass to remove. So yeah, I'll probably keep like about... So I will probably keep most of those, I think, just the be perfect one and maybe the elf one I might get rid of once I've used them some more yeah that's definitely an improvement um yes and a lot of these I would repurchase some of the ones I threw away obviously I would repurchase but I want to obviously go through all of these before I buy any new mascaras because <laughs> I am not buying any new ones until these are all done that is that's the plan. No more mascaras until all of these ones that I've just mentioned are gone through. <laughs> 
So I'm going to take a little break because I'm hungry, but then I will do eyeliners and eyebrow products and all of that business. Okay, as you may have guessed, because I look completely different, it is a different day. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is, these are all of my black coal eyeliners, so I have like colourful ones and like a separate bit. Um, but these are all my black ones, there's quite a lot here. Um, so, shall we see if we can downsize this a bit? I'm just going to go through them all and tell you if I'm keeping them or not. Um, look at this little thing. It's so cute. It's um, I Heart Revolution. I don't know what it's called, but it's like, it's basically a pen with all these little pushy bits. And I don't think they still make this. I don't think so. Even though it's like the coolest fucking thing ever. It is cool, but like, are they the best quality eyeliners? Mmm, not really. I mean, they are like decently pigmented. Um, I don't know whether to keep that or not, because I feel like it's quite gimmicky, but it is... I don't know, honestly. Well, I'm just going to leave that for a minute. Um, we've got an Essence Long Lasting Eye Pencil in Black Fever. Uh, this is a twisty up one. It is quite pigmented. Uh, I literally, I mean, this is going to be the case with a lot of these where I've not used them in quite a while, so I can't really remember things about like how they wore and stuff. Uh, like this Essence one, I have no idea how well it wore. It does have decent pigmentation though, it is quite dramatic. This is actually probably going to be really difficult to do because... Okay, I'm going to leave that aside for a second as well. Um, okay, we've got a Kiko one. I feel like um, this is the Intense Colour Long Lasting Eyeliner. I think this one I quite liked from my memory. Um, it needs to sharpen. I just sharpened it and all of that came off. It is really pigmented, um, but I think I've kind of busted it because it's quite wobbly now. I'm going to keep it for now, um, but we will keep an eye on this guy because I'm not sure about his state. It has also got a smudgy thing on the end, which I do like it when eyeliners have a smudgy thing on the end because I do sometimes like to do a smudged out eyeliner look. A Maybelline Tattoo Liner. This is one of my favourite black coal liners because it's super pigmented and it's got that sort of like waterproof like stick on kind of formula. Um, and it really just lasts really well and it's super dramatic as you can see um, so yes, no question about that it's obviously staying uh, this one is from Bell Hypoallergenic this is their eyeliner pencil uh, it's another twisty up one it has got a good pigmentation but I feel like it's not as good as some of the others that I've already swatched and honestly, I don't really remember much about like the wear or anything like that. So I think I might get rid of that one, possibly. Still not sure. <laughs> uh, Sigma Longwear Eyeliner Pencil. When I got this, I thought, oh, that's just like a coal liner, but it's actually like a twisty up liner, which is really weird because it looks like a coal pencil, but then you like twist it at the bottom. This is pretty good, like it has got good pigment. Um, I was expecting this to last really well and it just sort of lasted okay. Uh, I'm gonna keep it though, I think because there's a lot of product left mainly. Um, I've got the LA Girl Shockwave Neon Eyeliner. So I got, so this is the one that comes in a lot of neon colors, but there's also a black one as well. It is quite pigmented, quite dramatic. I think I will hold on to that one. I've got this one from Revolution Pro. It's their Visionary Gel Eyeliner in Noir. It's the one with the sparkly packaging. And it's got a smudgy thing on one end, which as I mentioned before, I enjoy. Yeah, it's definitely got good pigment, and I like that it's got a smudgy thing. So I'm going to keep that one, I think. Uh, Lottie London AM to PM black hole liner. Again, that one does have decent pigmentation as well. Oh, this is difficult. Like, how am I meant to... <laughs> I think when it comes to a black hole liner, it's like, how am I meant to decide like what I keep and what I get rid of? Um... I'm going to keep, I'm going to put that in the maybe pile actually. Um, I think I'll get rid of the e.l.f. No Budge Retractable Liner. Um, just because I've filmed my one brand e.l.f. video now. And like, this is okay, but it's a twisty up one. But yeah, I feel like it doesn't have as good pigment as some of the others that I've already swatched. So I'm going to get rid of that one, I think. Um, XX Revolution, um, I think it's called the exact eyeliner. The, pack, the writing is like kind of worn off a bit. Um, but this is kind of rectangular. 
If I'm honest, I don't feel like that has got as much pigment as some of the others I've swatched. Um, it's quite creamy though, like it glides on like super smoothly. I don't remember how <laughs> how it wore. Um, I'm still gonna keep it, I think. I've got this one from Sosu, which is the Extreme Cold Pencil. It came in like a kit with a liquid liner as well. Um, it's not bad, but I think I'm gonna get rid of that one. Got another one from Kiko. Um, this is their Everlasting Kajau uh, in 01. Oh, that's super pigmented and really creamy, actually. Okay, I'm gonna keep both of my Kiko ones then, because that was actually super creamy and pigmented, that one there. Just gonna be rocking a black eyeliner hand today. This one is super old. I think I'm probably gonna get rid of it. It's another Ellie Girl one. It's their Glide Eyeliner. Saying that though, it is quite pigmented and quite creamy, but I feel like because it's really old, um, it might like sort of be past its best. And like sometimes if you put in things like the waterline, it's a bit of a sensitive area, you know. So because it's super duper old, I think I'm gonna get rid of that. I think I'm probably get rid of this NYX one as well. So this is the Slide On, Glide On, Stay On, definitely a turn on waterproof eyeliner. Uh, this eyeliner is so good, the name had to be this long. I did actually use quite a lot of it because it is very small now. Um, it wasn't bad, but I prefer the NYX um, Epic Wear, which is in here somewhere. Where are you, NYX Epic Wear? Here you are. Uh, yeah, I prefer the Epic Wear over this one, and I don't even know if they still make this one. I think they might have just replaced it with the Epic Wear. So I'm going to get rid of this old one, but I will definitely keep my Epic Wear because I really like that one. It's really long lasting and very pigmented. This one is from Sleek, and as you can see, it's quite small. I did use it a lot, and also the lid is bent for some reason. Still not quite sure. Oh, okay, I just opened that, and uh, I just opened that, and I think the coal eyeliner. Oh, okay, what is going on here? Um, yeah, I think this might be a bit damaged, um, which is a shame, because I do remember quite liking that one. It is quite pigmented, but that's kind of damage like the whole thing's kind of just fallen out um i do remember liking this one so maybe i'd buy it again but i'm going to get rid of that because it's in an awful state um the rude cosmetics i have a secret creamy gel eyeliner is a more recent one it's not bad like it's okay but again i'm not sure if like compared to some of the others like it's not as pigmented like as dramatic and it wore the wear was okay from my memory, but not great, not bad, not awful, but not great. So I'm gonna get rid of that one, I think. Uh, misguided Slick Flick Waterproof Gel Eyeliner. That one is also quite pigmented, and I like that it's waterproof. Like I hate it when mascaras are waterproof, but I quite like it when coal eyeliners are waterproof because I feel like. Um, they still remove easily, but then they just last longer, whereas with waterproof mascaras, um, they just don't come off. Whereas I don't feel like I have that problem of like coal liners when they're waterproof. Um, so I am going to keep that one. Um, Jordana 12 hour made to last liquid eyeliner pencil. Liquid eyeliner pencil? Um, I thought I was going to get rid of that because... It is quite pigmented actually little circle up here um it's quite creamy let me sharpen this actually i feel like i used this in the shop my stash last year at some point and i can't remember if i liked it or not i feel like i didn't for some reason but just watching it now it seems okay so i'm not really sure so yeah, i feel like that's quite pigmented and it's super creamy so actually i'm gonna keep that even though i feel like i have a random memory of not enjoying it that much but I don't know why, because that swatched really well and was creamy, and I do like it when eyeliners are creamy. In case you want to do like a sort of smudged out look and blend them. I think I'm going to get rid of these two Catrice ones, they're like twisty up ones. Uh, one's the Inside Eye Colk Gel, and one is the 18 hour colour and contour eye pencil. They're both twisty up ones, I have no idea why I got both of these. They're, yeah, I feel like they're not as pigmented as some of the other ones we've swatched today. A little drier in formula. Um, I think I will get rid of those two. I'm definitely going to keep the W7 Oh My Gel um, waterproof soft gel eyeliner. This is really good, really long lasting, really pigmented, really creamy. Does everything one of my favourites, so I'm definitely keeping that. Tried that one last year. Uh, I've got the Pixi Endless Silky Eye Pen. 
which I remember, I tried this one last year as well. I feel like I remember being like a little bit disappointed, like I liked it, but I mean, it is super creamy and pigmented, so I am going to keep that. Um, I think it might have been the wear possibly I was disappointed in, I'm not really sure. Okay, so this one isn't super pigmented. Um, it's the L'Oreal Le Liner Signature. Um, it's not as pigmented as some of the other ones, but it is quite long wearing and it doesn't smudge in my inner corner, which I find incredibly rare. So I am gonna hold on to that one for that reason. Uh, I've got the Bourjois, I've got the Bourjois Contour Clubbing Waterproof Eyeliner in black. That is quite good, but again, I feel like maybe not as pigmented as some of the other ones. So, and it is super duper old as well, so I think I will get rid of that one actually. Uh, and the last one we've got is the Gosh, the Ultimate Eyeliner with a Twist 01 back in black. It's a twisty up one, um, and it's got a smudgy bit at the end. And I just snapped it, which is brilliant. Uh, again, this one's super old as well, so I think I will get rid of it actually. Okay, so let's go back to the free earlier that I couldn't decide whether to keep or not. Um, I think I'll get rid of the Essence one. Um, yeah, I think I'll get rid of all of them actually. I'll get rid of this I Heart Revolution thing, even though it's cute, and the Lottie London one. Just because I feel like I don't need all of these black eyeliners. Okay, so we got rid of probably like over half there actually. So this is what it looks like now, so quite a bit downsized. And we're getting rid of all these, so actually we got rid of quite a lot there. Um, which is making me think like, am I being too harsh now? <laughs> no, looking at them I feel like quite confident we're getting rid of these. Like, I feel like I would reach for the ones I've kept over these ones. So, yeah, I feel like I'm happy to get rid of all them. And I feel like, do I really need like loads of black hole eyeliners anyway? Probably not. So yeah, I'm happy with that. So I'm going to put that back in my drawers. So we'll quickly do my really tiny minuscule liquid eyeliner collection. Uh, so my favourites in here are the NYX Epic Ink Liner, love this, that's not going anywhere, as well as these two from You Can Be. Um, these are the Precise Definer Liquid Eyeliner, I've got a black one and a brown one. I really like these two, so these three are definitely staying. Um, I think I'll keep the Maybelline Tattoo one because it's quite pigmented and good. Let me just see if it's actually still usable. Yeah, it's still got liquid in it because it's quite old now. Um, I like this, the only thing is like it can get a little bit stuck in your eyelashes which is a bit annoying but it's like a decent eyeliner so I'll keep it. I think I'll keep this Bourjois uh, Liner Clubbing Ultra Black which is enough. It's in good condition so I'm going to keep that one. I think I'm going to get rid of this little tart sample size. Uh, it's the Clay Paint Liner Black. I always found this a bit awkward and difficult to use because it's like in a tube and then you sort of squeeze it on the back of your hand and it's just a bit awkward so I'm going to get rid of that one. And I think I might get rid of my Collection Extreme 24 hour felt tip liner just because I find that the nib is just a little bit too thick and it can be hard to get like a precise wing. Also not as pigmented as other liquid liners um, so yeah I'm going to get rid of that one. So yeah I've only got, <laughs> only got a small collection here. But it would do because I don't use, I mean I do use liquid liners and I also have some black cake liners which I can sort of use as liquid liners as well and like those last forever. So I'm okay with having this small collection but I'd definitely rebuy the NYX Epic Wear and these two You Can Be ones although I think they might be a bit awkward to get hold of these You Can Be ones but those ones I'd definitely buy again. Right we're going to do brow gels now which are all in this basket here. I'm just going to pick them all out and save and keeping them or not. Um, so this is the Morphe Morphe Brow, Cru Morphe Brow Crush Tinted Brow Gel uh, in the shade Deep Brown. I really like this one. Definitely keeping that. Uh, this is just a clear brow gel from Technic. I might just keep it for the sake of having a few clear brow gels because they can come in handy get rid of this brow soap thing from Catrice because I don't really use brow soaps to be honest. Um, I prefer like, honestly I'd prefer more like a brow gluey sort of product as opposed to a soap, I just find them a bit awkward um, so I'm going to get rid of that. Definitely keeping my Makeup Obsession Fluffy Brows Fibre Gel, that's probably my favourite brow gel, definitely keeping that. 
I might get rid of this collection of fast brow tinted brow gel. Um, so this one, it doesn't have a spoolie on it. It has a thing, sort of like a paint on. It has, it has a doe foot, so you'd sort of like paint your brows on. It's not bad actually, it's decent, but I don't feel like I reach for it a lot. Patrice Volume and Lift Brow Mascara, I believe. I actually quite like this one, so I'm going to keep that. I think I might get rid of this Revlon Colorstay Brow Fiber Filler just because I found the wand a little bit awkward. It's not my favorite brow gel, so I think I'm going to declutter that one. Uh, I'm going to keep the Wet n Wild Brow Obsessive Brow Shaping Gel. Uh, I'm going to keep this LOV Brow Titude 2 in 1 Brow Tint and Fiber Gel. I don't really use the brow tint very much. But I do really like the um, gel bit on the other end, so I'm going to keep that. I think I might get rid of this Bell Hypoallergenic one. This is their Brow Modeler Gel. Um, just because it is, I do like the colour, it's a super cool toned grey. But the formula's a bit, it's quite watery for a start off. And a bit too like much excess product on it. It seems more like a gluey thing than a like tinted gel, like it's super like slippery. Uh, yeah, I'm not. Yeah, I'm gonna get rid of that. I've just got another clear brow gel. This is a W7 Perfect Tamer. It's just a clear brow gel. I mean, I'm just gonna keep it because I feel like you need a few clear brow gels. I'm gonna keep the Beauty Bay Brow Fixer because I really like this one. One of my favourites from last year. Uh, I've got the Max Factor Brow Revival. This I think is used up or dried up because yeah there's like mm, yeah that's in a state. I think I remember liking this though um, but it seems like it's empty slash dried up so I'm going to get rid of that. I'm obviously going to keep obviously going to keep my two benefit give me brows. I've got shade number five. This is super old now. It's probably running out. Definitely would buy another one. I loved these. Uh, I've got shade number three as well which is a little bit lighter than what I usually go for. Although saying that, actually, it's not a bad shade. Um, that one's got a bit more product in it, um, but I'm obviously going to keep both of these. Uh, I've got the Elf Wow Brow. I have two of these because I did just rebuy one recently. Um, I think I'm going to get rid of the old one because it's, it's looking like, mm, yeah, there's not really a lot of product coming off there. Um, and I've got a new one, so I'm going to get rid of my old one and obviously keep my new one because I really like the e.l.f. Wow Brow. It's a really good brow gel. Milani Stay Put Brow Shaping Gel. I honestly don't remember if I like this or not. It's got a very strange wand. It's quite thick. It's not something that I'd usually go for. Um, it's got a bit... Yeah, I think I'm going to get rid of that one. I honestly can't really remember what I thought of it, but... The wand is kind of freaking me out a bit, and there's quite a bit of excess. Uh, I've got another Catrice one. This is their Brow Colorist Semi-Permanent Brow Mascara. Again, I've not used this in a really long time, so I don't remember if I liked it. It has got a lot of excess product on it, though, which concerns me a bit. Um, I think I might get rid of this. I think I prefer the other Catrice Brow Gel that I have, because that is a lot of excess product, and you know how I feel about excess product. Uh, Essence Brow Mascara, um, shade 02. I think I liked this. It's looking a bit crusty though. I feel like the product looks a little bit congealed and a bit crusty. Like, it doesn't look right. There's something a bit off about the way the product's looking. Um, See, so yeah, I think I liked this, but I feel like it looks a bit expired or something, so I'm gonna get rid of it. Uh, I'll keep my Uoma Beauty one, mainly because it was really expensive, and it's not bad, it's not one of my favourite brow gels, but it is decent, um, so I'm keeping that. Um, I've got a powder from Benefit, this is the Foolproof Brow Powder, I don't really use brow powder to be honest, um, so I think I might get rid of this just because I never ever reach for it. Um, I've got a New Look one, um, I don't think New Look makeup exists anymore, this is also... Yeah, this is dry, this is crusty, this is not in good condition. But I remember I used to really like this brow gel, um, but it's not looking pretty, so I'm going to get rid of it. 
Uh, I've got the B Super Drug Brow Gel. These long, thin ones. And I, yeah, that is nothing, no. Yeah, no product is really coming out of this. Um, I don't remember loving this either. Um, so I'm going to get rid of that because it looks like there's no product left in it. One that's kind of similar to that, it's got a similar sort of wand, is this Tarte one. It's the Busy Gal Brows. I love the like fluorescent packaging. Okay, this one, this one has a similar wand, but it's just got hair in it for some reason. Um, it's shorter. I do find this one a little bit awkward to use, but you can get a good brow with it. And it's Tarte, so it's expensive, so I'm going to keep it. This is super old. Uh, NYX Tinted Brow Mascara in espresso and um yeah this is super duper old i've had this for years it seems a little bit mm, crispy um doesn't seem like there's that much product left in it and i don't remember loving this the one that's a little bit bigger than i tend to go for the brow gel so i think i'm gonna get rid of that w7 queen of brows uh majestic brow mascara i have no idea if they still make this um i mean Seems a little dry, um, seems a little dry, really old. I think I'm gonna get rid of that. The Misguided Right Now Brow Thickening Brow Gel. Now, I remember getting an email from Misguided like last year at some point saying that, um, saying that if you have this brow gel that you need to like get rid of it, like there's something wrong with it apparently. And I'm pretty sure like I got a refund. I, I think I actually got sent like a refund for it, even though I'd bought it like ages before I got that email, which is really weird. So I don't know. So that's making me. So clearly there's something dodgy going on with this brow gel. It is, the color is a little bit more chocolatey than what I usually go for. And it does have a bit of excess on it. Um, so I think I will get rid of that one actually. And also I've been advised to get rid of it. So <laughs> anyone else? Buy that brow gel and get that email out of curiosity. Okay, last two. Last two. Number seven, beautiful eyebrows tinted gel. Which has a really similar brush to that Catrice brow colorist one. And it's not really my favorite brush because it's quite big. It also seems to have quite a bit of excess product on it. I think I might get rid of that one. And the last one we've got is the L'Oreal Unbeliever Brow in 109 Ebony. And this is another one um, where it's like a doe foot and you paint on your brows. I think I'll keep this one just so I have got like one brow gel in that sort of format. And I did quite like this. Um, so yeah, that's all the brow gels. We've definitely gotten rid of quite a few there. Okay, yeah, we've definitely downsized that quite a lot i've just got okay brow pencils now we have quite a lot in here again i feel like this is going to be difficult what i'm going to do first is take out ones that are like my favorites and that i know i definitely want to keep okay so i've picked out some of my favorite ones that i'm definitely going to keep uh, i've got benefit precisely my brow pencil in shade number three um makeup obsession uh so fine brow pencil and dark brown love that one um w7 stroke of genius i really like this brow pencil uh the xx revolution micro brow pencil is really good i love this uh the beauty bay brow pencil i really like this one and also the nyx micro brow pencil classic okay we're just going to grab things at random now uh, i've got another makeup obsession one this is their brow goals in dark brown and this has a sort of like triangular kind of wand. Um, I think I'm going to get rid of that one just because I prefer my other makeup obsession one. Uh, we've got the Sleek Fine Brow Pencil. Really not sure about that one, so I'm just going to leave it aside for a sec. Um, I think I'm going to get rid of the Benefit Goof Proof Pencil. Um, just because this one is a lot thicker and I tend to not really go for like thick brow pencils. I prefer something small and thin. So I think I'll get rid of that one. This BH Cosmetics one, this is the Studio Pro Shade and Define Duo Brow Pencil. I remember I used to love this. It does seem a little bit, it does seem like it's kind of dried up a little bit. I don't know if that's just because I've not opened it in a little while. So it's got a micro brow pencil on one side and then it's got like a thicker one, but I don't really use the thicker one. I just use the um, brow pencil. I think this is probably a bit past its best, 
but I'm gonna keep it for now and then but I will keep an eye on it and see what it's like. Um, quite like the W7 very vegan one so I think that one is going to stay. I think I might get rid of my elf one because it's not one of my favourites and I was kind of just keeping it for my one brand elf video, it's just a little bit dry. Uh, Morphe Micro Brow Pencil, I think I quite like this one actually. Yeah, I like that one, I will keep it. I remember quite liking the Nabla one, this is the Brow Define in shade Uranus. I feel like a lot of these brow pencils have gone a bit dry and I don't know if it's because they're just dry or they're just a bit old. But I'm gonna keep it for now anyway. Uh, I think I'll keep my Rude Cosmetics one that I tried recently. This is the Teeny Weeny Micro Brow Pencil. It's not bad actually, I'll keep that one. Revolution Pro um, Brow Pencil in the shade Dark Brown. This is quite an old one, but I remember liking it. Yeah, I feel like a lot of these brow pencils that I used to remember loving have just gone really dry. So now that I've snapped a little bit of it off, it's actually better. So I think it's just because I haven't used them in a while and they sort of need wearing down a bit. Um, so now that's okay. Um, so I'm gonna keep this Revolution Pro one. Uh, I've got a Zoeva one, this is their Graphic Brows in the shade Bista. This is super old as well. Um, see that one's super old, but it's actually come out a lot less dry than some of the other ones that are super old. Um, I'm definitely keeping that because I've said in, I said in one of my other previous parts of the series that um, I'm gonna do an A to Z makeup challenge in 2023. And Z is obviously a bit of an awkward letter, so Zoeva, we've got to keep Zoeva products. LA Girl Shady Slim Brow Pencil. This is another one that I've had for quite a while and is a bit old. Ooh, I feel like the colour of that's a bit darker than what I usually go for with a brow pencil. What shade did I get this in? Blackest Brown. Yeah, I feel like that's a lot darker than what I usually go for with brow pencils, so I'm gonna get rid of that, mostly based on the colour. <laughs> oh, I really like this one actually, this is the Max Factor Brow Shaper. Uh, this is a really good one actually. And not super dried up, which is great. Uh, yeah, I really like that one, so that's definitely staying. Um, so Sue Eye Voltage Eyebrow Pencil. I tried this one last year, it's a more recent one. I wouldn't say it was one of my favourites, like it's okay. It's like a bit thicker than a normal micro brow, brow pencil, so I don't think I'm going to reach for it a lot to be honest, so I'm probably going to get rid of that one I think. Milani Precision Brow, that one seems quite decent actually, so I'm going to keep that one. This one's super old, this is just the original Revolution uh, brow pencil in dark brown. Again, that's quite a dark colour, darker than what I usually go for, and I'm not sure I'm loving the formula. Um, I'm gonna get rid of that Revolution one, I think. I've got the be I've got the Beauty Crop Good Brow Day pencil, which I tried last year, I believe. Um, not the best, not the worst. I think I'm gonna get rid of it though. Um, be Perfect Indestructible Brow Charcoal. Did I try? I'm pretty sure I tried this last year. Um, I'm gonna keep that one, I think. Misguided Oh Hey Brow Micro Precision pencil. Again, I tried this one last year. That one's quite creamy actually, so I'm gonna keep that one. Cause I do like it when brow pencils are creamy. So I'm gonna hold on to that one. And then the last one we've got is from Rimmel, which is their uh, Bro, Bro <laughs> Wow, let's try that again. Brow Pro Micro Ultrafine Precision Pencil. I think I remember liking this one. Yes, that's still quite creamy. Um, so yeah, I will definitely keep that one. Okay, so we have gotten rid of quite a few, but we've also kept quite a few. There's a few in here that I like, I remember loving, but because they're quite old, they've seemed a little bit dry when I've swatched them, and I don't know if that's just because I need to sort of like wear down the product a little bit. Um, but obviously, once I've, once I start going through all these brow pencils again, I will obviously be able to get to the bottom of that. But that is downsized. Okay, I'm just going to quickly go through my colourful coal eyeliners, which I think I'm probably going to keep most of these. Um, I'm just going to do this and then I will finish this part here and then the next part will be all of my eyeshadow products. Okay, so my favourite colourful liners are these ones from Barry M. Um, these are their high vis eyeliners. Um, I've got green, blue, purple, red, pink. I don't know if they still make these but I really hope they do because these are probably my favourite like go-to colourful liners because they're so pigmented and really creamy and they just show up amazingly in the waterline and I feel like not all colourful liners do show up well on the waterline, but these ones do. Um, so yeah, I'm definitely keeping those. Those are my favourites. 
I'm gonna keep all of the NYX ones because I brought these recently and I really like, as I said earlier, I like the black hole liner formula and I do like these colorful ones as well. I think I would buy more colors because they've got loads of colors of these epic wear liner sticks. Um, I've got like a green, a turquoise, a sort of plummy color, which I have actually used in my waterline today. Uh, and I've also got a white in there too. So I'm keeping those NYX ones. Definitely keeping the Seduvious Place one that I got last year. Uh, it's the royal shade. I would buy the other shades of this because it's really good. Okay, so the last time I used this NYX one, it's one of their Off Tropic Pro Liners. I think it gave me a sty. So, <laughs> which is a shame because it's quite pigmented and it's good and I've just snapped it. But I'm pretty sure it's just really old and yeah, um, I feel like I need to find a good yellow because the only other yellow I've got is this LA Girl Shockwave one and this one's not too bad, like I will keep it just because it's my only yellow now but I feel like I'm on the hunt for a slightly better yellow formula. This is good but I just feel like it can look like a little bit patchy but I think that is quite common with these yellow eyeliners but I think I will keep my LA Girl one just because it's the only yellow I have now. I have got a I've got a bright blue um, one from LA Girl as well, which this one I feel like it's got a bit of a better formula than the yellow. And I have a sort of deeper blue, but I don't have like a sort of like pastel blue. So I'm going to keep that. I'm going to get rid of this green from Rude Cosmetics because I have a few other greens. I've got a Barry M and a NYX one. And this one, I, I don't like how thin it is. I feel like that's good for brow pencils, but not really for like the waterline. Um, it's not bad, but... I've got other greens and I don't need that one as well. Uh, I've got a nude liner from Cover FX. Um, I think this is the only nude I've got, so I'm probably just going to keep it for that reason, as well as the fact that... Oh, is this broken? It's okay, I fixed it. It is twisting up now. Um, this is quite a good nude liner, actually, so I definitely will hold on to that, because it is the only nude I've got. And it's decent, so... Yeah, I'm pretty sure I got that in, like, a cohort beauty box a couple years ago. See, the thing is now I can't get it to twist down, which is a bit of a problem. Oh no, that's really annoying. I, uh, I don't know if I can... I'm just going to put the lid on it loosely because I still want to keep that. Um, but it's a bit broken. Um, lastly, I've got the collection Incredibrow. Um, this is in my eyeliner drawer because I prefer to use it as an eyeliner as opposed to a brow pencil. But it's quite a good brown eyeliner and I don't have a lot of brown eyeliners. I do feel like I need some more brown eyeliners. But it's got good pigmentation, it's quite creamy. I have been using this quite a bit recently, actually, because I'm getting a bit more into, like, brown liners and stuff. Um, so I'm going to keep that. Uh, the only other brown liner I have is from Bourjois, which is that liner stylo. And I think this one's a bit stiff. Yeah, I feel like this one isn't as creamy, and it's a bit stiff, and I've just snapped it. Um, so I'm going to get rid of that one, I think, just because I do like the collection one better. But I do still feel like I need a few more options when it comes to brown liners. Um, lastly, I've got another Bourjois one. This is the Contour Clubbing Waterproof. Did I keep the black one I had of this? I can't even remember now. I literally just did it. Uh, this is like a sort of bronzy colour and it is really pretty, so I'm going to keep it. And it's like a sort of shimmery one that's pretty. So yeah, I only really got rid of a few, which is what I expected, but that's my little colourful eyeliner box done. Okay, so to conclude, I'm just going to show you everything back in its natural habitat. Uh, so we've got the brow gels back here, the brow pencils here, the black coal liners here, liquid liners at the side, and then I've, and my blushes are here too because they wouldn't fit in the drawer above. That's got all my bronzers and contours in, which you would have seen in the last part. So my blushes are living with all of this stuff. And in the drawer below, I kept the mascaras up to the end here, and then um, colourful coral eyeliners are back here, so the other bits and bobs I've got on here are, I've got some cake liners, um, I've got some glitters, glitter glues, that sort of thing, uh, liquid glitters up there, I've got my eyeshadow bases, primers there, and then I've got a few like sort of single eyeshadows and single pigments there, and then a few like little stickers and gemstones here. Um, I, I don't think I'm really going to get rid of a lot, but I think I might leave the rest of this for the next part because I'm doing like all eyeshadows but honestly I'm probably not really going to get rid of a lot here I might get rid of like a couple glitters and maybe a couple liquid eyeliners that are sort of dried up but really I'm not going to get rid of a lot here but yeah I'm like I feel like this drawer looks very colourful and eye-catching which is great although I need to straighten it up so that's it for this part the next part I'm going to do all of my eyeshadow palettes which should be fun I really need to downsize those because 
there's a lot of them and then I might just do a couple bits in that last drawer I showed you I'm probably not going to get rid of a lot but um, I'm hoping I do get rid of quite a few eyeshadow palettes because I really do need to downsize that part um, but yeah that'll be the next part and then we're going to do lips in the last part but I'm going to do a try on lip declutter which should be fun but thank you for watching this thank you for watching I will hopefully see you in the next part goodbye